Resettlement. A word full of memories in the Canadian province of Newfoundland and Labrador, where various relocation programs moved over 20,000 people from small outport communities to 77 growth centres between 1954 and 1977. But Newfoundland and Labrador is not the only place where authorities have relocated large numbers of people. State-led modernization programs also took place in eastern Quebec and in Greenland, whereas in Ireland, urban migrants relocated voluntarily to rural communities under the auspices of a not-for-profit. Relocation is also expected to gain even more traction in the future, including in Canada's Arctic communities due to sea level rise and climate change. The practice of resettling people, uprooting them from their homes and homelands, has deep-seated social, economic, and political implications. It is closely intertwined with legacies of colonialism and dispossession, and with the politics of natural resource extraction. On a number of occasions, it has also resulted in acts of resistance by the resettled people or the host communities. With contributions from nine scholars from the fields of history, geography, and political science, the edited volume, Resettlement, Uprooting and Rebuilding Communities in Newfoundland and Labrador and Beyond, by Isabel Cote and Yolan Potty Sherman, examines these questions by exploring past and present resettlement dynamics in comparative perspective.